everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to show you how I fold my plastic bags from, from the store. You know when you go to Walmart or the grocery store and they give you the plastic bags? Do you just stuff them in a bag and hope that they're going to all fit? Well, you know, I fold mine, and when you fold them, they actually fit a whole lot more. It looks like you have a pile of bags, and then all of a sudden, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I told Jim I had a burp coming, and it was a little one this time. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, I fold mine, and I can fit a whole lot more in a bag than you can if you just wad them up and stuff them in. So I'll show you how I do it. Okay, these are bags that I have already folded. This is what they look like when they're folded. They're just little packets. And I've got quite a few of them here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine of them, but you would never know there was nine bags here. That's what I've got. Nine bags. Okay, and this is how they come from the store. Let me use my lovely bamboo. Okay, now we're going to tip the camera down. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to flatten the bag as flat as possible by pulling the inside the little pleat there and the handle. I fold it in thirds. And then I like the open side. See how this is open? It's shorter. I turn it. Now we're going to overlap about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, and you fold like you're folding a triangle, and you just bring it up, bring it up. It's like when you used to do those secret message, if you're going to write a love note and put it in like a secret message folding, you do the same thing, and then it's folded. I will do it again. When I was working at the school, everybody would wad the bags and I would fold the bags. So they used to bring me the bags so that I could fold them because we had a container that we had to keep the bags in. Because if the state was to come by and do their inspection, you couldn't have any bags around because bags would be considered a dangerous, suffocating thing. So we used to fold them. In fact, a lot of times the state lady looked at them and didn't even realize that that was a bag because it was folded. She had no clue what they were. So fortunately, because she didn't know, we didn't get written up. But typically they're put into the container that they're supposed to be in. And um, they're very neat. And this is what I like to do. I would wear, I would do well in a, in a department store. I like folding, but it would have to be folding t-shirts. I like folding t-shirts and towels. Those are the things I like folding. And there you go. There's three more bags folded. All done. So that's how I fold bags. And then I store them in, the, in a large bag. And then when I need a bag, I just shake it out and open it up. And there you are. You've got a bag. Today, when I went out to the chickens, I opened the door. I've only I've been getting less eggs. They must be thinking fall's coming because I got four eggs the one five eggs one day. That's the most I can get. Then I got four, and then I got three, and today I would have had three, but one egg was broken, and one of the hens I don't know how it got broken, but when I went to, I saw opened the the chicken. Egg, what's that called? Where I nesting, open, box. nesting box? Yeah, <laughs> I opened the the flap to the nesting box, and um, there was a broken egg. So I closed the door and I went in the house to get a bowl because I was going to pick up the straw or the grassy area that the nesting box has in it and the rotten egg or the egg that was broken. Now it's a rotten egg, and um, throw it into the in the compost. When I came back, the little brown hen was there at the, and she had stolen a piece of the egg. I don't want them to learn to eat eggs. My chickens have done very well so far. None of them um, break their eggs. Some, some hens, they will lay the egg, turn around and break it and eat it. They're not supposed to do that. Well, my hens have been very good, but this one brown hen, I'll have to watch it now because he's had a taste of egg and he might just think, 
oh, is that what's inside there? That's pretty tasty stuff. And he may just, she may just try to eat them. I don't know. I'm hoping not. But anyways, I only got two eggs today because one egg was broken. So the most I can get is five. And I went to um, Tractor Supply today. When I went a few weeks ago, when I wanted to find a baby chick, there was no chicks to be had. Now they've got baby chicks again. They've got some that are uh, sexed out, so you know you're getting just the hens. And then they've got the other ones that you have to take your chance on whether you're going to get a hen or a rooster. But you have to buy six. So I just will hope that Emma hatches out at least one. And let's hope it's a hen. Because I don't know what Rhonda's babies are. And I'm hoping those three that my brother thinks are hens are hens and not roosters. They were doing their little stare down again today. But if that's the case, if they're hens, then you'll know that hens do the stare too along, because I always thought it was just roosters that did that. But apparently, we'll find out if it's hens too, because if, if they are hens, then we know it's not gender um, specific. There's the word I was looking for. Okay, that is it. And I will say goodbye for now, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.